Well, greetings everybody. How are you doing today? This article is from the Millennium Report. Move the camera up here. Soft coup in the works. Deep states setting up Trump for impeachment. Okay, I'm getting out of there. Out of the way. Oh, there we go. Sharing classified info with Russia. Story. Major piece of impeachment plot. State of the nation. There can be no doubt that Deep State has been using mainstream media and the Democratic Party to overthrow the Trump administration since January 20th of 2017. The agents of Deep State have also been employing all the worst rhinos, I don't know what that is, R-I-N-O's, weirdos, <laughs> in Congress, uh, example, Senators John McCain, that nice fella, and a Lindsey Graham, to assist in, unfold, in the unfolding conspiracy to impeach, impeach President Donald Trump. Not a week has passed since Election Day that the mainstream media hasn't taken advantage of every opportunity to publish fake news about Trump and or his key advisors and, and appointees. Truly, no one has ever seen anything like the super sensational circus that is being staged inside the Beltway by Deep State 24-7. Nonetheless, this whole political melodrama is deadly serious from the beginning to the end. But there is a much bigger story than impeachment. Okay. There's actually two schemes being executed, executed at once. The, impe the impeachment setup is, is obvious. The other, much more complex and convoluted conspiracy to inexorab inexorably bend the will of the POTUS to the commands of Deep State is far less apparent. Nevertheless, this is the much bigger story which has the potential to send the American Republic into an unprecedented political, social, and economic cataclysm. What is really being exposed in 2017 is the manipulation mechanism by which Deep State has always controlled the leading and lesser politicians throughout the world. All that has to be done is for a false accusation to be planted within the MSM, which has legs, or shall we say, is made to become a media millipede. The more legs, the farther and faster the fake news will travel around the globe. Every politician has always been at the mercy of the mainstream media. Okay, Each and every poll, P-O-L, is made or broken with the support or disapproval, respectively, of their local and worldwide media. What Donald Trump has been exper experiencing is an all-out weekly attack on his presidency. The entire administration and the Patriot, Patriot movement, which put him in the White House, each day brings a new onslaught of false accusations and a barrage of fake news. With each daily news cycle, the MSM concocts more false ac allegations against the president and his surrogates with seeming, seemingly absolute impunity. Trump's ever-intensifying plight is really the plight of every politician and public official across the land. Simply put, if people in power go against the dictates of deep, deep state, truth be told, 
will bring out, TPTB will bring about their downfall in short order. And the higher the platform that is used to proclaim one's political independence, the greater the fall will be. President Trump has taken his highly politically incorrect agenda to new heights. His unique brand of Trump moxie and mayhem have given a deep state much to fear. Well, they should, I don't know if they're, they're they fear anything. Uh, they might be a little worried that their plans to take over the entire world might get thwarted. All right, because that's all they want. You know, the deep state, uh, the globalists, the elites, the Satanists, they're all the same. Okay, just different titles. Secret society, not so secret anymore. They're out in the open. And uh, I think Trump might add something to do with that, too. So, uh, boy. Anyways, let me continue. Okay, so uh, Trump's uh, has given deep state much to fear. Uh, I think the people, me, you, all the people waking up, uh, is something that deep state should be more afraid of. Because as long as we keep exposing them in their plans, they can't follow through. So, uh, eventually they will. Eventually, uh, they will own the entire planet. But the least we could do is prolong the inevitable. So, let's keep prolonging the inevitable. Anyways, let me adjust my camera here. Okay. So not only has the swamp never seen such a politically unpredictable creature, every, every, I love the way they write things. <laughs> every swamp monster in why <laughs> I'm sorry, a swamp monster. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry. I find humor wherever I can find it, even if it's something that's not funny. Uh, you gotta laugh every once in a while. So every swamp monster in Washington and beyond now faces grave danger. Okay. The real crime here is the criminal conspiracy inside the deep state to destroy a political career. That's what they're gonna do. Political death by a thousand cuts. Deep state will not rest until Trump is either completely taken over or overthrown. The intelligence community has already attempted to take control of him by proxies within his family and inner circle. Nevertheless, Trump has still quite deftly utilized his wrecking ball to expose and destroy the entire political establishment. Now, I kind of go back and forth on that issue, whether Trump is actually really trying to bring down the secret, the not-so-secret society, the elites, the globalists. I'm wondering if he's actually really a part of it all, all right? Or if secretly he's really trying to dismantle and rid the world of these evil MFers, uh, the globalists, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Morgans, the this and the that's. They all need to be in jail. Anyway, so yeah, I secretly hope that he really has a secret plan to rid the world of deep state because then the wars will stop. The famines will stop. Uh, Monsanto will stop. Chemtrails will stop. Alright? Everything that's happening around the globe uh, is manufactured by Deep State. Yes, even, 
even natural, so they say, catastrophes, okay? Uh, and the not so natural ones, because, you know, they, they, got, they got a lot of technology out there to create earthquakes, tsunamis, they got harp, they got CERN, they got every way, everything under control, except the awakened people. So, I'm going to stay awake. I hope you do too. So anyways. Israel's House of Kushner now runs the Trump administration for the New World Order's globalists. This is why there will be no impeachment. Alright? There will be no impeachment because they've got Jared Kushner. Okay, now if they they overthrow, let me get back to where I was, right here. Now, if they overthrow or whatever, um, uh, you know, uh, dethrone Trump, then they would be dethroning uh, President Kushner, pseudo-President Kushner, and his wife Ivanka, who's it? Uh, anyways, I can't say it. I'd like to say it. I'll say, I'll say the word starts with an S and ends with lazy. <laughs> so, they don't want to get rid of Kushner and, and Little Miss Ivanka, they don't want to get rid of them. They want them right where they are. So, scratch the impeachment. So, Deep State's response to Trump's incessant tweets has been in tweeting has has been to encourage leaking throughout the West Wing. In this way, truth T P T B are sending a message. The executive branch is literally owned and operated by the U.S. government incorporated. The POTUS is merely a CEO and president who serves the pleasure of the secret and unaccountable board of directors. Therefore, Trump's every thought, word, action is closely watched and misrepresented to produce a fav uh, an unfavorable outcome for him, yet favorable for Deep State. Because the White House is hardwired for spying and surveillance by the NSA, CIA, and FBI. You know, why would the NSA, CIA, and FBI be spying on the president? Why would they do that? Why would the NSA be spying on the president? Well, why would any of these? I mean, <laughs> that doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, so Trump cannot make a single move without the U.S. That's another thing I find funny. Intelligence community. <laughs> Anyways, knowing about it beforehand. The agents of Deep State plan to inflict enough damage via compromising leaks so that an environment of extreme paranoia permeates the White House. In this fashion, the entire White House staff will become so mutually suspicious that paralysis will eventually set in. Ultimately, the saboteurs hope for Trump's political death from within and without, because he cannot really trust anyone, especially his own complicit family. Alright, Ivanka Trump, ordering the 59 Tomahawk missiles. Come on. Let's put it this way. Trump is guilty of having a dysfunctional family. All right? Anyway. I mean, so he can't even trust his own family. Uh, from whom he can seek truly wise and uh, an honest counsel. There's no one in his, in his administration who has not already been and who cannot, or who cannot be quickly compromised. 
after a critical mass of fabricated trust-busting events take place, Trump's political capital will then be expended even with his base. This is their plan. Key point. Okay, uh, we already talked about the missile attack. Um, it, you know, it was deliberately, the missile attack in Syria was deliberately engineered by the NSA advisor. Um, what's the point? Trump is now an island sitting in a sea of conflicting and hidden agendas. His most trusted advisors cannot even be relied upon to provide unbiased counsel. Of course, life in the White House has always been like this, except that in the age of Trump, this dynamic has been amplified exponentially. Deep State never had an enemy like it does in the person and president of Donald J. Trump. There is one thing that Deep State always seeks to maximize. It is compliance and predictability. In President Trump, neither of these qualities can be found. That's my kitty cat. Hang on, let me take him out. Hold on. Okay, so where was I? I let my cat out. In President Trump, neither of these qualities uh, can be found. Unless he is being strategically blackmailed and or bribed around a very personal issue. Of course, there's always the very real threat to his life and the threats to his family. That I doubt. Uh, anyways, so deliberate inaction is also frequent requests made by the agents of Deep State, which Trump may ignore. The much larger issue here is that Deep State is literally everywhere and therefore unbeatable. Trump is just one man serving a relatively short and finite four-year term. He will come and go in the blink of an eye. But then, so do 12.0 earthquakes. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a wonderful day.